Forbes from the wing with a hand in his face, and he knocks it down. He's got 28 points and a quick timeout by Tulane. And I like the timeout from Tulane, getting Forbes to get 28, another knockdown. So if you're the Owls with a five-point lead, what is the key to closing out this win? Well, I think you have to take the, the first best shot over the next minute or so, and then you really got to get into the paint, try to earn it from the free throw line. Not a bad opportunity, though, now to try to get to the free throw line, right? Can, can you break down the defense a little bit? Yeah, guys like John L. Davis are just so good off the bounce. You see what's at stake here. Martin, his three, that rimmed out. A rebound across. Tulane looking for their first win against a ranked team. And a long time, Holloway, he's got the mismatch. Backing down the smaller guard off the window that leads down to three. I didn't really like the shot from FAU. It, it's a good one earlier in the game because it establishes the pace. But late in the game, it's not one you want. Ron Hunter is calling for the crowd to get on their feet here at Devlin Fieldhouse. Extra pass. Greenlee into the corner. They find Davis. And Sion James is in there to tie it up with Golden. Possession arrow stays with the out. Overly officiated, which I think helps the flow. Next foul against either team will be in the bonus, both sitting at six fouls apiece. Golden ran over the defender, no call. Three off the mark. Rebound to King. He's going to push. He's going to go one on four, and King lays it in. Under a minute to play, it's a one point game. Ron Hunter said, let's go. Caught in the air, Golden underneath, has it stripped away, and here comes Colby King. One on five, he'll pull it out. Down by one, what's the play here? Oh, you've got multiple playmakers. Use a spacer and Jalen Forbes. Holloway challenges the soft blocker and it rolls in. Tulane with their first lead here in the second half. That wasn't the play. <laughs> that would have been my last option. But Dusty May electing good. not to call a timeout. Shot clock turned off. Davis going to work. And a jump ball. jump ball is called, and it'll stay here with FAU. Now FAU, this is an interesting situation. I, I think you need a timeout because you haven't gotten anything here. He is going to call timeout. You haven't gotten anything really good offensively, but wow, how about Holloway? Just physical, getting up on those soft rims, giving it a chance. Created all the contact, initiated, and finished. If you're wondering how... Carve it up. Both teams have 16 fouls, so the next foul will send either team to the line for a one and one Inbound is to Davis. Clock is ticking. 12 seconds to play. Boyd directing traffic, using the screen from Golden. Now Boyd penetrating, blocked, rebound. Davis throws it up, punched out. Tracked down by Martin. One second for the win! No! Foul. We have foul. a foul! We have a foul, and the game isn't over yet. Wow. Wow. I mean, I, I'm going to have to see it. Look, there, there's contact. There's no question. But, man, this is a tough one. That'll be Forbes fifth. Whoa. Not a lot on the follow through. Probably affects the shot, yes. Look, if I'm the shooter, I want that call. Yeah, that's a foul. You hit him on the hand. Man, that is so hard. It's a great contest. But he does get him on the hand. It, it's not egregious. That's five on Jalen Forbes, who has had an absolutely terrific night. 28 points. Five of 10 from three. Now, they also have to check the clock, clock. Yep. to make sure that, yes, they know the foul. But after the free throws, Tulane potentially could have a chance, so they want to make sure the yeah, clock it, is correct. There's probably a second or more because the clock continued. That is just, that, that is so tough. 
I, I think they called it right. It, it's look if it's a foul early in the game, it's a foul now. But this is probably around the one second mark. Yeah, maybe just under a second. Golden probably had room to do more than tap it. Four. I mean, it, 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 it's just so hard. Uh, hey, look, hey, the students are going to the baseline. God bless them. <laughs> God bless the students. They, they've abandoned us, partner. They were all behind us. I've taken a few toes to the back. These guys, they were trying to talk Everyone to you while we were on live air. And they are now going to the baseline. This so is the students great. are running to try this to cause some great. havoc behind the backboard. There's point four on the clock. Oh man, that's and amazing. Three shots coming up for Martin. Way to get that shot, guys. Martin one for two from the free throw line tonight. Here comes the first. And he makes it. We're all tied at 84. Wow. He's got two chances now to take the lead. Yeah, but the next one, if he misses this one, becomes a lot harder. The students put on their flashlights on their cameras behind the backboard. <laughs> oh, and it is more. It's not over yet. Martin has one more free throw coming up, and the students are going berserk. Florent Lynn is 6'11 right now from the free throw line. Hadn't shot it well. Hadn't gotten there that much. If you're new to the American, welcome to the party. This is what we do every night for the win. Martin, 0.4 seconds on the clock. Let's see what Tulane has left. I'm gonna force a catch in the backcourt. James will inbound. The full court pass to Cross, and that'll do it. Florida Atlantic survives. They win it by oh. one on the road. I, I don't know. I just have that gooey feeling inside. Like, good for Florida Atlantic finding a way. They, they played well enough to win, but credit Tulane. Man almighty, what a fun performance. You just feel terribly for a team that loses a game like that. Great environment, a lot of energy going the way of Tulane. Wow, what, what a game, man. This, is, this has been fun. First win for Florida Atlantic all time against Tulane, and it was a thriller. Whew. Yeah, you got to catch your How breath.